Hey guys, the vice president elect Kasim Shetima has said that the incoming administration led by Bola Tinubu might not have a rosy starting point. The former governor of Borono State noted that the oil subsidy had become an arbitrage around their necks, adding that the multiple exchange rate system was a drain on the national economy and created a dual economic system. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Our starting point may not be rosy. Neither Tinubu nor I have a doctorate, do, doctorate degree. The vice president elect Kasim Shetima. Our starting point may not be rosy. Neither Tinubu nor I have a doctorate degree. The vice president elect Kasim Shetima tell Nigerians. The former governor of Borono State noted that the oil subsidy had become an arbitrage around their necks, adding that the multiple exchange rate system was a drain on the national economy and created a dual economic system. The vice president elect Kasim Shetima has said that the incoming administration led by Bola Ahmed Tinubu might not have a rosy starting point. The former governor of Borono State noted that the oil subsidy had become an arbitrage around their necks, adding that the multiple exchange rate system was a drain on the national economy and created a dual economic system. Shetima made this assumption in the address he delivered on Friday at the 2023 presidential inauguration public lecture at the National Mosque, Abuja. He noted that the incoming administration did not have the luxury of time as the challenges facing the nation were humongous. He said, the starting point might not be rosy. Let me be very honest with you. The oil subsidy has become an arbitrage around our necks. The multiple exchange rate system is a drain on the national economy and creates a dual economic system. There are certain decisions that the new administration will take, but in the fullness of time, Nigerians will come not only to appreciate, but also to celebrate us. As the Chinese will say, the worst cause that a Chinese man may wish on you is for you to live in interesting times. And indeed, we are living in interesting times. But rest assured that in the fullness of time, Nigerians will come to pay a glory tri tribute to Bola Tinubu. Power is the most ephemeral of God's gifts to humanity. A person's pre-degree does not make them who they are. We are here, we are leaders, not because of our in, in, intelligence or intellect, neither Kasim Shetima nor Asiwe Jubola Maitunubu holds any PhD degree. We are what we are, not because of our physical powers. We are what we are, not because of our physical cigar city. There are better politicians. Power to us will be a humbling experience. It's an opportunity to serve God and humanity, and whether we accept it or not, we are going to spend more years of our lives outside power than in power. My principal is pure-minded leader who will do justice to all Nigerians, irrespective of differences in political affiliations, religious persuasions, tribal or sensational backgrounds. We are all united by our common heritage. Of poverty, institution, and insecurity. This is the time for all of, all of us to come together as a single force, he added. Nigerians, for edits now. The vice president elect Kasim Shetima has said that the incoming administration led by Bola Metinubu might not have a rosy starting point. The former governor of Borunut State noted that. 
the oil subsidy had become an arbitrage around their necks, adding that the multiple exchange rate system was a dream on the national economy and created a dual economic system. Shadima made this assumption in the address he delivered on Friday at the 2023 presidential inauguration, a public lecture at the National Mosque, Abuja. He noted that the incoming administration did not have the luxury of time as the changes facing the national where the nation were homongers. He said, the starting point might not be rosy. Let me be very honest with you. The oil subsidy has become an arbitrage around our necks. The multiple exchange rate system is a drain on the national economy and creates a dual economic system. There are certain decisions that the new administration will take. But in the fullness of time, Nigerians will come not only to appreciate, but also to celebrate us. As the Chinese will say, the world's course that a Chinese man may wish on you is for you to live in interesting times. And indeed, we are living in interesting times. But rest assured that in the fullness of time, Nigerians will come to pay a glory tribute to Bola Ahmed Tinubu, he has said. It is not a degree issue. The state of economy and security is so bad, and no magic can be done to fix Nigeria in the immediate. But gradually, with good people oriented policies and projects, the nation will be out of Buhari, you know, uh, 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 whatever he has put in us. If these two people are allowed to ascend the throne, Nigeria will not make progress because of this early excuse coming from Shetima. It is too early for that statement to Oga VP. Now, doctorate, the, the criteria for performance, that means Una not they serious Nigerians. Una not here and so. You don't already tell Una they are they, they, what Una go expect. So, make Una just they expect more. I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel.